Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this pegboard for my boys room. Uh, my dad had had these two pieces of scrap wood, the one that I'm um, writing on right now and then that skinny long piece on the floor. They'd been sitting in his garage for a while and I knew I needed some type of display shelf in my kids room and I didn't want to buy one so I asked him if I could have these scraps and he said yes please. So this is kind of why I'm doing this right now um, or else I would have definitely gotten a bigger piece uh, and cut it down to an easier to work with dimension. I believe this was like 22 and 3 quarters by and then I cut it down to 60 inches. I would have liked 30 by 60 just to make the whole grid gridding process that I'm doing right now uh, much easier uh, but it's fine like just with some annoying math I was able to uh, mark out the little grid pattern that I am doing now. So everywhere that the lines cross, that's where I'm going to be drilling my holes for the pegs to go in. So this next part was kind of frustrating for me. You can see me struggling here with this drill bit. I wanted to originally use a uh, hole saw, but I didn't have one in the one inch size that I needed. But I did have this little, I don't know what it's called, this thing on the end of my drill. Um, and it was working, but I, my drill was just too weak to uh, get it through. And so you see me try here for a while and I was really, really wanting to like do this whole project by myself, but that drill just was not strong enough. Um, and so I had to, oh, right here, I'm just cutting down to size the 60 inches that I wanted. I don't know, I didn't do that first, so it was kind of dumb. Um, but anyway, I really wanted to do this project on my own. And you can kind of see in my face here where I realized that I needed my husband's help. And you can see it's not cute, but I was just like, ugh, I want to do it on my own. And so I asked him for help and he comes out and kind of just pulls out this big old thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's a drill of some sort, but it's so powerful. And it just went straight through did exactly what I needed it to do. He kind of showed me how to use it. Um, so yeah, that this part is what took the longest, obviously, is drilling all these holes. So he kind of got that started for me after I sucked up my pride. I was very grateful. And while he was getting that started for me, I started measuring uh, the dowel that I bought into the size of pegs that I wanted to use. So I bought two of these dowels and I only needed one so I really spent like five bucks on this project which was really really exciting to me. And so here I am just cutting it down. I know that I should have had on my little safety glasses at this point. Um, I did put them on later. It's just not something that crosses my mind really. It's all the safety measures of anything. Um, but I. Don't worry, I put them on later. Uh, so this was the extra piece that my dad had. I'm not sure why it was this size, but that's the size I went for for my shelves just because I had it already. And then that extra chunk that I cut off when I cut the length to 60 inches, I did make a couple um, deeper shelves for the very top. So after I cut all my shelves and my pegs, I just went back to drilling all these holes. It really took a while and it took a lot of like shoulder strength trying to push straight down. <laughs> That is um, something I did kind of mess up on in some holes is they were not perfectly straight and I didn't notice until I was trying to put shelves on the pegs uh, because the shelves weren't sitting perfectly straight. That was an easy fix with some little um, shims underneath the pegs when I was getting the shelves set up. Um, so anyway, here I am sanding everything with this little electric sander my husband had. It went very quickly. I was very grateful. So I sanded off all the rough edges, but I also used it to kind of like clean up the surface of the pegboard. I took down all of the pencil markings that I made. There was shoe prints on it and dirt. And so I just kind of used it to clean up everything as well. Just make all the wood look nice and fresh and clean and smooth because it was very rough and gross to touch. Um, very splintery. I said this is for my boys room. This is the area that I wanted to put it. Um, I just needed a place to store all of their little travel souvenirs, the trinkets and the more special toys that they don't really play with and they kind of put on display like his favorite little Harry Potter guy. Um, so yeah, we just had too many things on this shelf. That letter board is empty and it's really bugging me. I don't know why I haven't put a little quote in it. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of this stuff just needed a place to go. Little shells from the cruise that we went on. There's just too much of it. If you have kids, you know that they collect little things that they make. Kids just have the most random things that are special to them and they want them 
to be kind of away from all the other toys, so that's kind of why I'm making this pegboard. So now I'm just prepping the wall that the shelf is gonna go on, and I did not take into account that dumb light switch, so the shelf is off of center, which is really annoying, but I need the light switch, so it's fine. Uh, so here I am just putting in the pegs, playing around with shelves, seeing where I want them. You can kind of see when one of my holes wasn't straight because the shelf is not level, uh, but that was an easy fix. I just shimmed underneath the peg on the bottom side, I just stuck in some little pieces of wood and broke it off so that it, it was not visible, but it did hold the peg straight. Um, so now it's the big transfer of all the little uh, special things. So it was very hard to not style this the way I want it to look. Um, I just needed to remember that I made this for a purpose. I needed it to solve a problem that I was having in their room and that's why I made it. But I really, really wanted it to look like all the cute little pegboards that I've seen. I wanted it to be cleaner, less cluttered, but it's their room, it's their shelf, it's their special stuff. Um, and I just needed to stick with my plan. Like all the pictures on Pinterest of kids' rooms and their shelves, they're so clean and minimal and empty. It's just, I'm like, where's the kids? Where's their things? Do they even live there? Are they miserable? Like, So this room is lived in and loved. Um, so that's kind of how I have to look at this shelf because it's just so full and so, um, overflowing with all their little things, but they're special. Every single one is special to them and brings a little memory of some trip or some person that they love. So that is it for this little project. I think it turned out really well. Again, the styling of it is hard for me to um, love, but the shelf itself is doing what I needed it to do and I'm proud of myself. And I do have a couple other projects in this room that I need to get started on, like this huge Lego mess. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you would like to and I will see you with my next video. Bye.